So, hi, hello. Um, had to cut that beginning part out because I was trying to get off the little bumpy street. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh-huh. New nails, who this? <laughs> New nails, who this? So, I let Choi do what he want. Um, I'm definitely into the whole, like, long straight shape now. And... <clears throat> I swear he the only person that can get it right because last time he wasn't there and I went in there and let somebody else do my nails. Lord, I don't know why. Um, they just completely fucked my shape up. I don't I don't like the curve. Like I don't I don't like the coffin y I used to be a coffin person, but I don't like how it be wide and round and then it thin out. I don't like that. Give me the long I need the long straight. I need the long straight. So but he's leaving me for like a month to go home he say a month but he could be gone for longer and i just don't want that to happen so i had to go ahead and get my full set with him before he leave because he leaving sunday but he say he gonna be back so i'm just gonna keep my mind focused on that because my refill and eh, i can kind of pretty much get it done by anybody as long as they don't fuck my shape up but yeah i had to make sure my full set was on point and y'all know i had the man hands and I talk with my hands, so it's just even better when you got nails on. Like, my my life was just not right with no nails. Like, I could, I don't know if I'm the only person who does that. That's where it's like, it's a specific thing in your life where if it's not done or you don't have it, it kind of, like, messes with your mood. So, for some people, it might be like their hair not done or their nails not done. I'm that person. Like, my nails is a is a form of self-care for me like it's the one thing that i don't care of the cost i don't care like it has to be done my hair i don't give two fucks about my hair y'all know that just from being on the youtube channel i'm not one of the people who gotta go get my hair done all the time i would i love to because connie v definitely uh be getting cleaning all these roots and cutting all these edges uh and trim i mean but I'm a nail person, and when my nails not done, it messes with it with my attitude. It messes with my my attitude. I don't know why. It it just does because that's the one thing that I have that's about me, like where I can take care of myself. That is my self care. For a lot of people, it's a lot of different things. It could be going to the spa. It could be just sitting in quietness, like. Everybody has their thing to where if they don't do it or they don't have it, it messes with them. And nails are my thing. Okay, hold on, y'all, because the cops is copping. Hold on, lady, because it's my turn. So you better wait, goddammit. Hold on, they got a lot of construction going on over here, child. Oh, Lord, there's people everywhere. I do not want to speed and hit one of these people. I don't know where y'all going, Essie. I don't know where y'all going, Essie. That out the way. They are tearing up Houston, boy. And they think they slick. They trying to do something with this bayou because after Hurricane Harvey and all these goddamn people started complaining about the floods. Now they trying to lift shit and make it more secure. Y'all ain't slick. But notice they doing it in the white people neighborhood. But I'm not gonna go there. Um I got on here for another yet yeah, another motivation. Like I'm just in the mood. I'm in the mood. Like, I'm preparing for my upcoming event that's on January 30th. Thank you very much. Motivation will be live. Um, if you in Houston, go ahead and get them tickets. Link is in the description. And if you're not, there's a virtual option. A link is in the description. So, I expect to see y'all. Hmm? Whether I see you on the screen, whether I see you in person, I expect to see y'all. Because um, we need all that. Give me all. See, look at, look at, look at. It's just much better when you got nails on. We need all that. And because this we going into a new year, and yes, we have a new um omni coronavirus out here, omni COVID. I told y'all that's what I was gonna call it, that's what I'm gonna call it. Oh, wait, no, I didn't post that video. Yeah, I call it omni COVID, uh, either omni COVID or omni <laughs> corona. I can't get with the whole Omarion thing, it's just not my thing. Sorry, buddy, didn't mean to block your little turn there. You had going if asshole scoot up. Oh, now you want to scoot up. Now you want, okay. All right. I understand. 
I understand. Why is that gas 309? That ain't nothing but the devil. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. I just be talking. It's it's hard to focus and drive and talking. That and I just be losing my train of thought in real life. But real quick, want to give y'all a token. Um, and I thought about this earlier when Sheridan sent me a clip to post on my social media. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put this the way I would normally put this, and I probably said it before in a bunch of other videos. Uh, definitely said it in a minute motivation. I know for a fact I did. Probably said it multiple times because I want y'all to really understand when I say this. Um, fuck them people. Uh huh. Yeah. Fuck them people. <laughs> like that's it. That's the message. Like fuck them people. And when I say fuck them people, this is what I mean. For one, two things. Fuck people's perception of you and what they think about you. And fuck people who are not rooting for you. Everybody ain't going to be happy for you. And and we have to learn. For once, keep, keep things to yourself. I'm the type of person where if I'm planning some shit, like my second book, ain't nobody know I was writing it until the day it dropped. If I'm planning something big... I don't talk about it. I don't tell people about it. I don't talk about it. And that, I think that comes from, a part of that comes from when I first started the church movement or when I first had the idea of it. And not to say, you know, I completely blame my mama for this, but she did do it. Um, when I came to her with so much excitement and passion about the church movement, she didn't get, her response wasn't what I needed it to be. Her response was pretty much like every other uh, black older person or, or mother or whatever and it's just get a job, pay your bills and stop worrying about everything else. And I was just like, nah, I'm telling you this thing gonna be big. And she wasn't supportive like I need her to be. So I learned to stop saying shit. So sometimes you gotta keep some shit to yourself. Like just, just keep it under wraps. Like the best thing ever quoted or ever written by my uh my dear friend, my nigga Lil Wayne, uh, real G's moving silence like lasagna. If you know, you know. Uh, that's a thing. That's definitely a thing. Uh, real G's do move in silence. Move in silence. Sometimes you gotta move in silence because everybody ain't rooting for you. Everybody not gonna be happy for you. Now, when the time comes to share with the world, then share with the world but until then keep it close you might have like a few people like of course y'all know i got christian i got my cousin i got the the team or whatever like i have people i can share shit with and it's like okay cool but some people nah like especially on social media first of all i don't even like social media if you know me you know i hate social media i have to take breaks from that shit it just be too much. Like, it's too much for me to sit here and worry about your life. I don't have time for it. Uh, mailman, are you going to get over or... I got a package in the car, too, by the way, if you want to take it. No. I knew you was going to get over here. I knew it. I fucking knew it. That's why I was driving slow. And he is about to put that in that damn mailbox. And I'm finna go put... Oh, I'm finna go beat him. I'm beating him. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, come on. Bring your ass. Hurry up! you got to keep to yourself everybody ain't supposed to know everything everybody ain't rooting for you so when i say fuck them people i mean fuck them and their opinions and their negativity and i also mean fuck their perception because we spend too much goddamn time is you gonna stop for real or you know what i'm sick of y'all i hate marlin um we spend too much goddamn time worried about what other people gonna say for what why 
why are you worried about what everybody else got to say? We too busy worried about how we look on social media, how we come off. We put on these these fake identities and personas like we got all our shit together. See, I don't. I that's why I fucks with myself the long way because I'm not one of them people. Like if I'm fucked up, y'all gonna know it. If I'm going through something, y'all gonna know it. You gonna see it in my appearance. I'm not finna be depressed and then put on a shit ton of makeup and a nice outfit and say, "Oh, take my picture so I can put it on Instagram." No. <laughs> that ain't what we doing here, sir. Um, I'm definitely gonna gonna be like, hey, look, it's not a good time. Or I'm just not gonna post at all. Like we don't have to. I hate a motherfucker's page, and I'm and I'm thinking about people in my head. But of course, you know, I ain't gonna even go there because I start calling my names. So I'm gonna have to beat somebody up. But I'm thinking about people in my head who do this shit for real. And I be looking at their page like. Either I know you lying, cause I know you in real life, or I could tell you lying and being fake just based off the strength of your post. You can tell genuine happiness from bullshit. If you got good discernment, if you really know, then you could tell genuine happiness from bullshit. And I can do that. Like I just be like. girl now you know damn well you staged this photo like <laughs> why just like don't post shit at all like my jamaica post i was happy as shit <laughs> like i was happy as shit but i had my bad moments in jamaica and what did i do i got on youtube and told y'all what was good what was bad like i we too busy worried about what everybody else think and that's that's too much fuck them people ain't nobody got time for that y'all Hold on, I'm about to put y'all on pause so I can go get this gift card. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Yeah. I got ice and Starbucks. Lord, God is good. Um, trying to figure out the most effective way. Oh shit. Um, what's the same? Oh yeah. We was talking about fuck them people. So, yeah, we not, I, I, I don't like that. I, I can't, I, that's why I have to take breaks from social media because it just be too much. It, it be too much. If I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, if I didn't have businesses, I probably would not be on social media. Like, I don't have a Snapchat. I don't have a TikTok. And TikTok is a good business too. I'm aware. Everybody keeps telling me that. I don't want it. <laughs> like I can barely control the social media that I have now. That's what shared it for. Okay. And she know how much I hate social media. Like I'd rather just let her do it <laughs> than me do it. Cause I don't want to do it. Like I don't, I don't want to do it. And I realized, like, especially with Facebook memories, how much I used to be on social media all the time. And now I barely post. Like, it, it'll be about some business shit or I might say some random shit every now and then. But I, it's getting less and less for me because, for one, I be too goddamn busy for that shit. For two, I just, it gets old and tiring. I don't want to do all that. And, again, when you in plan mode, when you in grind mode and focus mode, you you got to get tuned all that out. That's the most effective way. Fasting is a thing. That's going to be another video for y'all too. Fasting is a thing. <clears throat> and sometimes you have to step back from the world in order to realign your focus with not only yourself but with God and your spiritual energy because it could be a lot sometimes. Because you dealing with your life and then you got to think you also bringing in everybody else's into your into your mind because when you look at people's posts on social media it's their life it's their post it's something that they got going on unless it's a share or something crazy or whatever but yet and still it's them so that's a lot to take in and not to mention hell technology and shit in general with us looking at the shit all day is dangerous in itself um, but yeah, and then going to the other part of it on people's perceptions, like I 
Fuck them people. <laughs> like, people, whatever people think about you, that's what they gonna think about you. It ain't nothing you can do to change how people look at you. Their opinion about you, their perception on you, how they, it, it's nothing you can do about it. it and, but that doesn't have to be who you are. Like, that does not have to be your reality. It, whatever they think, whatever they say, don't matter. I've always prided myself on the fact that I, I don't know why I'm trying to say excuse my language like I don't cuss. I've always prided myself on the fact that I don't give a fuck. I, I could give a shit less <laughs> about how somebody feel about me, what somebody say about me. I don't care, bro. That's your opinion. Like... I grew up with people teasing me about my ball spots. Like, I don't care. I'm still the shit. <laughs> that's all that matters. Like, that's what you call high self-esteem. I'm still the shit, though. Like, I still know who I am. So, I don't care how you feel about me. I don't care how you feel about anything. I, I don't care how you feel about what I said. Like, it's... So what? You could easily be like, Oh, Miranda, old mean, cussing-ass bitch. Like, if that's how you feel... Then that obviously mean you don't know me for real. Because if you knew me for real, you knew you know that I put everybody else before myself. So you obviously don't know me. I had to deal with that shit when I dropped trouble and everybody swelled me down. I was trying to do the whole uh, Corinne Steffens video vixen <laughs> situation and put everybody out there. That was not the fucking case. If you read the book and if you actually listen, you'll know why I did what I did. It was for me. It wasn't for everybody else. The people who needed it got it. But I didn't let that shit phase me. Have I started a twerk team in college? Y'all know how bad people's getting on my ass on Twitter? Fired me up. Call me hoes and all kind of shit. I fell out with my cousin. My mama was disappointed. Like, it was, it, they came for me tough. I was being attacked for what I was doing on uh, YouTube. <laughs> okay. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Now, was I, was it wrong? Yes, I shouldn't have been doing it. It was stupid. But it was also college. That's your time to make dumb mistakes. I look back at it now and the shit is hilarious. Like, it's so funny. Like, if I wouldn't have done it, I wouldn't have had the experience or the story to tell about it and to tell my kids, hey, don't be shaking your ass on the internet. That shit, that, don't do it. It ain't good for you. But who cares what other people think of you? Like, Stop letting that stop letting that block. You're gonna block your blessings. You're gonna block your blessings. Worried about what somebody else gotta say, worried about what somebody else think. Don't do that. You ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself. Because you can change your ways to match somebody's perception of you and they still not gonna be happy with you and you're not gonna be happy with yourself. Be who you are authentically and fuck what everybody else gotta say about it. And again, going back to my other point, because there's two points here. One point, people's perception of you doesn't have to be a reality. The other point is everybody ain't happy for you. Everybody ain't rooting for you. Know what's hate and know what's support. Know who you can trust, know who you can't. Can't trust everybody. You cannot trust everybody, period. Everybody is not going to be happy for you. And you need to use your spirit of discernment to know who is really rooting for you and who just for one there to to join the ride to, to, to follow you to the top and get a seat at your table when they ain't do shit to get there and also who's there's always a Judas in there God, wait a minute girl girl, girl. it's always a Judas in the group <laughs> and if you know you know if you don't know, I'm disappointed. It's always a Judas in the mix. Pay attention. Pay attention. It's a Judas in your mix somewhere. And whether you figure it out now or later, you need to figure it out. Because everybody got one. Everybody has that one person. And it could have been like similar to Judas. They was happy for you in the beginning. They was down. They was, let's do this. Let's do this. But over time, as you progress and as you grow, people start to become jealous. Especially if you're doing a lot with your life and they ain't doing nothing with theirs. So you got to be careful because people actually will become jealous of you and they will take that jealousy and use it against you to harm you. There's a Judas. 
in every circle. So use your discernment and be clear. Be clear about what you tell what you uh what you tell the people. I need to check the man at the office. What you what you tell the people, what you share with people, all that. I, I'm a private person. You ain't gonna know. I, I'm I drop bombs. You ain't gonna know I came out with something till it come out. And it ain't even that I don't trust nobody. Have I had Judas's in my group before? Yes. But it ain't even that I don't trust nobody. It's just that that's how I move. That's how I work. I operate better that way when it's just me who know it. Hell, even Christian don't know some shit that I might be working on. It's some stuff I just got to keep to myself and God until I'm ready to say something. And when I'm ready to say something, I'll say it. But what you better put... You better pay attention. Watch, watch for your Judas. Fuck people, or oh, fuck them people. I ain't gonna say fuck people. That's just wrong. Fuck them people. Pay attention and watch for your Judas. Everybody ain't rooting for you. Use your discernment to know who's for you and who's against you. Who is your wolf in sheep's clothing? Plan your own things and build your dreams and goals in silence sometimes. Real G's move in silence. You ain't got to share everything with everybody. Take some time to yourself. Decompress from the world. Get off social media. And while I'm on the social media part, stop acting like you are this person that you're not. Don't do that. Do not do that. Because at the end of the day, you only hurting yourself. Because when you go back, I want everybody to go back. I don't know if you do this or if you don't. Look at your, at your photos and what you post on social media and tell me that at that time that you posted that photo, where were you at in your life? Like, if you posted this happy, excited photo, you went somewhere, you did something, whatever, it's all fancy. Were you happy at the time that you posted that? Were you happy at the time that you took the picture? Or did you just take the picture thinking, oh shit, this going to be good for the gram? My point exactly. So, I would title this Fuck Them People, but I, I don't think YouTube going to like that. So, I'm going to title it something else. Um, Again, I'm dropping gems, baby. That... I'm dropping gems, and I'm gonna bring mini motivation back. I'm sorry, I know I'm slipping on that whole thing. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna get there. I'm, I'm doing a lot, y'all. I'm doing a lot, but I think I might have an idea for January. But again, y'all know, didn't I just say don't share everything with everybody? You just have to see. You just have to see if you like, comment, and subscribe. Like you'll know, duh. So I gotta go in the house and pretty sure I gotta do something productive like I don't know what but I'll figure it out when I get there if you so happen to see me in this same shirt same outfit same all of this then that mean I went in there and recorded some videos I want to go ahead and get that out the way because next week I have to go back to work <sighs> that's depressing damn it uh, that hurt just saying it but again happy new year 2022 here we come and until next time, again.